Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for February. That's not your card, but it's backwards for some reason. I haven't used it. I don't know why it's backwards, and I don't know why I chose you to go next. <laughs> um, I haven't used this deck since yesterday, and this card did not come up, so I'm not sure why it's this way, but this is the Hermit, and you could call it the Hermit Reverse. This is needing to go within. Um, hmm. odd, very odd. Perhaps you do need to go within. Maybe you need a time of, of introspection. Maybe you need to reflect on something. Maybe you need to reevaluate um, where you're going in life. Who knows? So anyway, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. This may or may not be for you. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. This is for, I would say, mid-February, okay? Get one of these. We're not doing reversals with this deck, I'm just so used to flipping. Transformation, beautiful. Now, this is uh, the death card, okay? Endings bring new beginnings. When you release, you know, that's what death is. It's about release. Transition and transformation. So you guys are transitioning from one phase, letting go of something. Something is ending, okay? Something is ending that needs to end so that you can, you know, start over, all right? What do we got for Libra? I think you're going through something really big, obviously, with that Hermit card and this. You're going through something really big. One phase of your life, I mean, that's what this is. Something big is ending. And with death brings rebirth. And I have to show you what's on the bottom. This is rebirth. Okay? It is. So you guys are about to you know, go through some sort of spiritual renewal or renewal in your life that leads you down a new path, a completely new path. One more card. Adventure. Woohoo, you're headed on a new adventure, adventure, Libra. That's what you got coming up. You may be traveling, you may be scheduling travel, you may be seeing places you've never seen before. You know, a new beginning is essentially a new adventure. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For some reason, I was called to do yours next. You happen to be the fourth one for this segment. So a four is an angel number. One plus three equals four. It's like you're being protected. Okay? You're being protected by angels. Okay? That's what's going on here. You are. So whatever is ending is meant to end for a reason. You're being guided. Okay? You have angel protection. Be sure that you are using that to your advantage. And this is being recorded on February 4th. So you might as well consider that, like, was that three fours? Four, four, four? Where did I get that from? I don't even know. For some reason, I am being told to tell you about the angels. I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, it's, it's, just, it's strong, okay? The angels are around you. They're protecting you. They're listening to you. Talk to them. You know, the Six of Swords reverse, this is somebody that is reluctant to see a new approach. 
reluctant to move on from a situation. And it's like the Queen of Cups, she has her hand over the cups. Like she's not offering her love. Not opening up her heart. Maybe clinging to control. Deceiving herself or deceiving... Somebody is deceitful here. I mean, the Seven of Swords, there's some sort of deception that somebody is reluctant to move on from. There could be some anger involved. It's like there's a loss of concentration and it's because it's like it's out of your control. Something is out of your control. You could be dealing with a person that's not emotionally available and you're reluctant to move on. You're reluctant to let it end. Now, this right here, the emperor, this is a father figure, this is a boss, this is somebody in authority. This is a very controlling, manipulative, dominating energy. Trying to control a situation turns your life upside down. And it cheats you from peace and harmony. It cheats you from peace and harmony. Sixes are about reevaluation. You need to reevaluate, like I told you at the beginning. If somebody is not giving you love, you have to move on. You need to stand up for yourself, you need to defend yourself. You need to find the strength, the courage, and the confidence, and that force within you to hold your head up high to this deceptive situation, to this, this shady individual, whoever it is. You have the power to deal with this. You do. You have the power to take back control from whoever this person is that is still controlling you. Do it now. The time is now to take back your power from this thief that you have been reluctant to let go of. It's time for your new adventure. It's time for you to let it end and to start over. Whatever this is. It's time reality check. This is a reality check. It is. It's like this is the truth. It's like seeing the truth. It's time to accept the truth. It's time to, you know, face the reality of the situation, which somebody has been reluctant to see. It's about, I've been reluctant to, to, to do it. And it's like somebody has been sacrificing themselves needlessly for a foundation that isn't even stable. Refusing to wake up. It's already cracked. It's already turned your life upside down. You can't control it. You can't. It's already broken. And now you need to, you know, you need to protect yourself. You need to put yourself back on top. Maybe you got to open your heart in a different direction because you're holding on to something that is already broken. It's it's already it's cracked. You can't fix it. I think something has already happened. It's already broken down. It's like you're trying to fix it. You can't fix it. Yeah. Oh god. It's like you're in denial over a situation. It's like you've lost your determination to fight for yourself. And pride and ego is an issue here. It is. It is. With both of these cards. It really it, uh, It is. Pride and ego. Rejection sucks. 
it does. And I'm not saying that it's just you got every single person in this world has pride and ego. It's how we handle it is the deal. Okay. I think something has already fallen apart. It's already broken down. And now somebody has to pick themselves up. They need to find the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower and the force within them to hold their head up high and stop lying to themselves about the truth of a situation. It's time to move on. But somebody's reluctant. And therefore, it's like you're not giving. It's not wanting to work with anybody else, right? Not wanting to let anybody else help you. Not wanting to give yourself to anybody else. But all the while, there's lack of harmony with others. You're not on the same page. There's lack of energy. There's lack of ambition. There's a need to refocus. Refocus on yourself. You need to have self-respect. Whoever you were dealing with, they didn't respect you. And it's time for you to, to really pick yourself back up. Put yourself back on top and, and wake up. Wake up. I'm sorry. What is this moon reverse? This is reality check. Time to get real. But somebody's reluctant. It's time to take your power back. It is. It's like somebody's trying to manifest the wrong one into their life. That's what I see. It's like you put a name on it. You can't put a name on it. The universe. This is a universe card. And this is a control card. We have two universe cards. One is the world, one is the tower. The universe is in control. You can't make somebody love you. See the hand is over the cup? You can't make somebody love you. You can't manifest it. It doesn't work like that. This is somebody that is reluctant. I'm putting this right here. Reluctant to move on. It's like, I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to make this happen. It's going to happen. It is time for you to let go and shed, shed those old ways. Be willing for the universe to bring in what is meant to be. Let the universe drive. Yes, you can use your, your manifestation powers. You can, but you cannot put a name on it. You know, that's kind of like black magic, trying to make something happen that isn't meant to happen. Does that ever work out? If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Reluctance again. So, both of these are reluctance. Somebody is reluctant to shed the old to bring success into their lives. They're reluctant to manifest something new. And it's really deceiving themselves. Somebody here is deceiving themselves when they have the power to reevaluate this situation and move into something better. But there's a lot of mental conflict. There's pettiness here. There's petty conflict with yourself. Inner conflict. Oh, God. And it's, and it's like you're trying, you're thinking that if you hold out and you protect yourself from anybody else coming into your circle and you manifest and you pray and you beg and you, you know, continue to use that black magic per se I'm just using that as an example you know you'll get what you want you're going to get what the universe has in store for you 
It's time to stop protecting yourself and to get out there. Yes, you need to replace that fear. You need to find the courage. Have no fear. Defend yourself. Be the warrior that you are. You don't need to deal with somebody who loves competition, who loves the drama that you bring to the table because you won't let them go. They love it. They love it. It's time to be happy again. It's time for that rebirth. There's an opportunity for happiness here once you stand up for yourself. <laughs> and you make that situation final. You have to finalize that chapter in your life. You may have to make that decision to be happy. That's what needs to happen. This is you. You have the opportunity at this time to bring balance and happiness and bliss right back to your life if you stand up for yourself and do the right thing for you. You know, you have to make that right decision. You have to accept the truth. That's what this is. Be honest with yourself. You're playing with somebody. You're playing. It's like you're juggling. You're playing a game. We have cut. We do. We we got somebody here that you know. It's time to take that next step. You don't need to keep playing this game. You don't need to keep juggling. You don't need to keep having this chaos in your life. All you gotta do is drop this situation. Yeah. I. All you need. All you need to do. is drop one of these, these, drop one of them. You don't need to keep playing this game. I see that you're trying to find balance, you know? You're trying to find balance, but the only way you're going to find balance is to stop playing the game. There's been so many ups and downs, you know, you're choosing to play. And you have a better opportunity waiting for you if you could just see it and stop focusing on the person that robbed you of happiness. The person that didn't follow through. You have another opportunity that you're missing. Oh my God, you are absolutely dealing with a player. you got a player. You do. And it's like whoever you're dealing with, they're not coming forward. They're not coming forward with any offer. They don't want a fresh start. And it's like, you, you know, you have to take the lead here. Like I said, you need to drop one of these. Under here, remember? Drop it. Drop it. The situation that you're holding on to is causing too much emptiness. You have a better opportunity here. So you're dealing with a player. You're dealing with, you're holding on to a dead end situation. This is a dead end. Okay. This person has no focus. This person has no drive. This person is not coming with anything. And it's hindering your happiness. You have an opportunity to be extremely happy if you take the power and you make and you finalize this situation. It's final. I'm done. I'm not playing your game. I'm accepting. I'm seeing that I have other opportunities. I'm no longer going to hang on. I'm, I'm no longer going to be stuck. I'm going to look at things from a new perspective. I'm not going to be the martyr. I'm done. I think you guys are probably, it looks like you may be making a decision to be happy. It's like, you know what? I want happiness. You do have another opportunity for love here. You do with that five of cups reversed. Maybe you manifested somebody new. I don't know. Maybe you manifested that name and the universe brought you somebody else. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, what can I say? It's like you guys... There's, there's difficulty accepting the truth here. You're dealing with an immature individual who has nothing, no, no ability to follow through. No ability to communicate the truth. This person is very childish. This person is lacks integrity. Whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with somebody who is a dishonest individual with these, I'm telling you what. And they've kept you stuck for long enough. And now it's like, you have to be, you have to be honest with yourself. This is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. I feel like you guys are probably grieving over some sort of loss because this is the death card. And it's hard. It's hard to accept that you have been played or deserted or her you know it's hard to accept that you are dealing with somebody that doesn't want to fight for you you have an opportunity to take back control of your life at this time to bring balance back to get exactly what you deserve if you make that final decision that I am going to be happy you cannot control the universe. Let go of the need to control. It's time to go on a new adventure. It's time to start over. It's time for your rebirth. It's time to begin again. It's time to stop staying where you've been. Stop. Stop. You have the power to change everything right now. Okay? You have the power to, to stop staying in this space. It's like somebody is wants to rescue you or they could rescue you and it's like you have the power to go in this new direction you have all the resources within you to just get out there to bring success to your life but the magician sheds his old sheds the old to bring success that's what the magician does and underneath it is the moon reverse it's you have to be real here to bring success, you've got to accept the reality of a situation. There's that hermit. It's time to reevaluate. Come up with plan B. Go within. Step back and really focus. Become aware of what it is that you're, you're not being real about, okay? And I'm sorry. I mean, you guys don't have to like me. That's okay. Somebody, it's time to get real. You can't deny that. I mean, you can. Some people will, but whatever. Um, not my problem. Anyhow, um, it, it, it's really time to reevaluate. Like I said, I, start, I think I started this reading out with reevaluation, didn't I? It's time. It's time to reevaluate where you're going in the future. It's time to, you know, become consciously aware. It's time to heal. But I have to tell you, you got to look at where the hermits stop looking back. Because all that's doing is hindering. It's hindering your success. If you keep looking back at the past, you keep stalking them, you keep looking at them, all it's going to do is hurt you more and more and more and more. You got to stop. Time out. Maybe you get off of social media altogether. If that's what you got to do, then that's what you got to do. Maybe you stop communication altogether. It's like somebody here is dealing with somebody that it's like they want this person so badly that they can't see the truth 
that this person is a is a liar, this person is deceptive, this person is sneaky, this person is not opening their heart, and it's like somebody is clinging to the need to control this situation when it's really time to move on. You could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Leo, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have everybody here, everybody. So it's, it's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone and stop protecting yourself and be happy again. You have to face this pain head on. It's time to start over. It is. It's time for you to get what you deserve, but it's up to you. You have to make that decision to stand up for yourself to find happiness. So Libra, I feel as though it's time for you to make an important decision. It's time for your rebirth. It's time for you to live again. And it's time for you to go on a new adventure. Right? I mean, that's what this is. It's time to start over. Let what is over be done. It's time to live again. Maybe it's time to travel abroad, you know? That's a postcard. It's time to live again. That's the message. Good luck.